Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen and me. Genevieve wanted to share something with you guys. And by the way, our little screen here, this is actually her iPad and this is a picture of our teddy. He's our little Melty Poo. He's what, six years old? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, he looks I so small. I will give it now to Genevieve. Okay, so, um, Bridget. Bridget, and I think there might have been someone else, was asking about Genevieve's uh, app that, I use that to she make... uses to draw her no, pictures. Her characters. Um, mm -hmm. The ones that I had been using on my flip books and cards. And that little canvas. Oh, yes, and the canvas. Mm -hmm. So uh, she wanted to just share with you guys this, this video is. Uh, specifically for Bridget too because um, Genevieve. she asked recently so we thought okay I guess it's time to maybe do a video but of course I can't do it because I have no idea what <laughs> she does on that iPad so okay so it takes a little bit of getting used to to use the app but this is kind of like a tutorial on what I use and my tips about the app mm -hmm. so it's called Sketch Club as you can see right there it's this little app right there, and it's very useful for drawing and coloring. Um, it has literally every color you can have, mm -hmm. and um, it's just really useful in general, especially if you really are a good artist and you're comfortable with drawing with your finger or like a smart pen or iPad. Or Something. a stylus, right? Yes, a stylus. So her dad bought her a stylus, but uh, she's more comfortable with actually her finger. And she'll show you that, I guess. The pen? Right? No, you can show them how, how you do I draw. It mm -hmm. A few, the, like, little finger. doodle things. She, she feels like she has more control when she uses her it, finger. I do. So okay. let's just jump right into the app. And this is really cool because you can also share. You can make a little account. And you can also, like, share your, yeah. like drawings and everything okay. so it's so a whole big community how, show us how it's done so you go into your app and then you would press new sketch mm -hmm. and then you'd do your size say the size of your screen so it would just be like that and then you'll have this little tool thing set up or you can just go to here and choose your tools but i prefer to have it on the side okay. like a bar and what tools are we looking at here john okay so i don't really use some of these so i'm just going to go over the ones that i use okay. personally so, when I'm doing my sketches and everything, I use the pen tool, and you can do different sizes. See, that's just one size. You can have it much thicker. They can't thicker. see that bottom part, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. She can, there is like There a, we go. There you go. Here's this little scroll, and so I can make it thinner. the size of uh, the tip of the pen, Thinnest. I guess you could say. Yes, yeah. you can make it thicker. Mm -hmm. And this right here, up here, if you can see it. Is a little button that I use. The little arrow. It's the back button if you want to. But say erase. you erase too much. So like undo. Mm -hmm. Say you erase too much, you can go back and replace it. Oh, that's nice. Nice mm -hmm. feature. Okay. Yes. So when I do my sketches, I normally have a lighter color just for like a sketch. So I normally put so it not to completely that is your white. color wheel. Yes, this is my color wheel. So I could have it. So this adjust how like you know how it becomes lighter how pale it like becomes brighter mm -hmm. so you click on the color that you want and then you can change the shade and I you guess. can kind of just scroll around there so let's and what say what does that do it just makes it brighter right uh no know. you can choose your colors they're like i want green oh, i want blue kind of as you can see right change. here or up here and then say i wanted red right but i wanted it to be more pink but not exactly this pink, I'd want to just go back and it would make a light pink when you're drawing. See? Okay. So it, it's displaying the color you want right here. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And say you want to make it a little bit darker or anything, you would just kind of go back right there. It's a little bit darker. I don't know if you can see that. But this adjusts how like dark the color is. This and is just like brightness. how do you brightness. choose it once you have it set? So say I like this, right? You can oh, kind of just, you do it, so it fast. just, you just kind of tap it, like, okay. just on the side somewhere. So what I would do, like say you wanted it to be darker, or like almost black, then you would choose that. So this is like 
the black and white kind of a thing, but this is the brightness of that specific color. This is just in general. Black and white. But then this is, so this just adjusts the darkness, but this adjusts the actual color itself. So, like, say you wanted blue, but you wanted it to be brighter, you just scroll up until mm -hmm. adjusted to your liking. And how about the bottom part? I wanted it, like, super dark, like a night sky, then it would come out like a navy blue. But say I wanted it bright, then I'd just go all the way up, and then it would be a nice bright blue. So that's the colors and everything. All right. But personally, when I'm sketching, like, myself, I would do a little bit of light gray, like lighter so you can easily see above the white. And then I'd kind of just sketch a little circle for the head oh, and yes. kind of just... You can, um, you can, what do you call it? I'd kind Make of just... Yes, I can zoom in zoom, yeah. and zoom out, which is a really helpful feature mm -hmm. for when you're drawing. So say I wanted to sketch, right? I sketch the person... I make the hair, blah, 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 all of that, just simple. I'm just doing this really quickly. I do, like, simple little eyes and that, right? Mm -hmm. There are multiple layers, so you can, like, color over things and under things. So say I wanted, this is just the sketch, right? Mm -hmm. So say I wanted to make it the real drawing, right? Mm -hmm. I'd kind of just go over it with the desired color. I normally use black just for, like, the lines myself and then you could just see do that easily and then you just go over everything you just did and then this right here this little eye you'll see means you can see the layer so like see if I press the eye here it makes it disappear if I press it again it comes back so you don't want the sketch after you're done and then you'd kind of just put it at the bottom where you can't see it. And then what I do when I'm coloring is I go to the layer right under, or any of the layers under this layer, which is... Layer the, 5? Not always layer 5. Oh, just the, the darkest layer, what I want everything to be under. Mm -hmm. And you see, you have to have a lighter color. See, if I wanted her to be pink, it would go under all of the black, you see? Oh, yes. Okay. But if I said, guess. if like I was doing it on the same layer, it would go over. Do you see? Mm -hmm. So that's the difference there. So layers are kind of how you do it under. So like, say I colored this entire thing pink in this layer, but then I didn't want to, I wanted to be a little lazy and kind of just go under the skin. So like when I was coloring with the hair, it wouldn't go over into this part. It would just kind of be like, like this. So let's say it would be like this. I colored this edge, I colored the whole thing. But then with this part, oh, I accidentally grabbed another tool there. With this part, I'm under. So look, I'm trying to color right there, but it doesn't let me right here in this spot because that's on the layer above it, you see? Oh gosh, this is very confusing. Yeah, this is kind of my like. No, because kind it doesn't of... say under layer, it doesn't say. No, but you can kind of guess. I'm sure there's a tutorial, right? Yeah, there On are a few. App. I'm trying to simplify it, but I don't know how well I'm doing. So that's the pen tool, right? Mm -hmm. So say I wanted, like, the whole image to be, like, I can size this, right? Say I wanted to, like, kind of airbrush it. I could kind of do that. But it's not always the best option because it does go a lot messier and out of the lines, as you can see mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. But I like it for, like, small things, like cheeks. So, like, that, I just do little cheeks. Oh, that's how you do the cheeks. Mm-hmm. Simple, like that. But... And which, where is that little... See, you what can you just put? make the size. It's called the brush. Oh. It's the brush tool. It's the very top tool. It has this specific little order right here mm -hmm. on the side. So, with the brush tool, it's kind of like layering... So, like, look, this part is lighter, right? Right here. But mm -hmm. if I keep coloring, it comes out a lot darker. Mm -hmm. See? One's darker than the other. Mm -hmm. Because I'm adding more pressure. You don't necessarily have to, but I'm, I'm coloring more over it to make it thicker color. And that's just with the brush. Mm-hmm. And then this is the blur tool, which I use a lot with the pen tool to blend my colors. It's basically a color blender. So, say I had this color, right? 
but I wanted to make it a little bit brighter in like some part. So say I want to blend that, blend that there, then the blur tool would kind of just blend it all together like that. Instead of just these two colors alone, mm -hmm. it would blur it into that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so just that's what go the blur ahead and tool. actually color that skin tone. And, okay, and so. Make your eyes look real. <laughs> this is just a simple thing. I don't want to get into like super coloring, but I guess since you want me to make this like actual eyes, how I actually do my, mm -hmm. my actual drawings with the face, I'm going to go to this layer and use the eraser tool. You can see it looks like an eraser. Yeah, we're, at, we're at 10 minutes, so. Okay, we might have to make a part two. Okay, so you'd erase this, right? But you have to make it as small as possible so you don't erase the other line. See, like here, just, it's erasing the other lines. Mm -hmm. But you can go back over that after. So like, I erase all of that, right? Mm -hmm. I take my color, go back to black, and then I just go back over the line, and which it was one, never there. Which one is your, your pen? Or this is the pen tool. It looks kind of like okay. little old-timey kind of thing. Okay, so say I'm doing my eyes. I make it all cutesy. So then there's my little character, right? Mm -hmm. So then you just color un in a layer under. under under the layer that that is. You want it the brightest as possible with this part in the black and white mm -hmm. for your skin tone. And then you're gonna just adjust the color so you can make it like that. You don't wanna go too orange, just a light orange to make a pale skin tone like mm -hmm. that. It just depends on your, what skin tone you're going for. Mm-hmm, but you don't wanna make the person orange unless, I don't know, they're oh, no. a carrot or anything. But um, <laughs> <laughs> you want the skin tone to be realistic, then this is how you do it. You do a light, light, light orange or brown or whatever you want the skin tone to be. Okay. And then you do that, right? But look, sure. the eyes, where the white should be, it's completely covered, right? Mm -hmm. So you just, okay, so this is how you grab another color. Say you, you just used this peach, right? Mm -hmm. But then you want to change the color, and then you change it to pink for the hair or something, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't know how to make this color again to match in case you mess it up somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like if you're, or you're coloring another part yeah. of the body mm -hmm. that you're going to make, then what I do, which is really, yeah. really help, mm -hmm. helpful, it's um, you hold your finger over until it makes that little circle, and then it grabs the color for you. See? It's the exact same color. Okay. And I can do it with any color I find. So this is where it kind of comes in handy. So you can just grab some white, and then you color over that part, the eyes, mm -hmm. to make the white of the eyes because that's how it's supposed to be, not some creepy skin tone colored eyes. Okay. Okay, and then for the actual, like, people, say I wanted something simple, little green eyes, then I'd make the color, don't want it too big, so it can actually fit within your lines. And then I, what I do for my eyes is I do a little bit of a lighter shade. I do this little thing, leaving a little bit of the original color there, and then I just take that, I make it dark. I make it darker. I make a little circle in it. And then I get white, I grab white, and then I just dot it. It's okay if it's not a full circle. It shouldn't be, actually. And then you just dot that. It looks weird right now, right? Mm. But then you use your handy, nifty blur tool, and you blur it all together, and it just looks really like professional to me. It just looks a lot better than just having it like that. See the comparison? It just looks better mm. with the eyes. Instead of this, you could have this with just a simple stroke of the blur tool. And it just looks a lot better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It just does to me. It's your preference, but that's just what I do. And then say you want the hair blue, purple. I, just do brown. I'll just do brown. <laughs> Whatever you think. Just a nice brown. Color the whole thing in. It's really just color the whole thing. 
And then you can just use lighter shades and blend that in to make like sheen or whatever you want. But you need to resize every once in a while. See, like if I did that with the size I have now in that little pinch, mm -hmm. like this little corner, it would go outside the lines. If you don't want to have to erase it, just make your thing smaller mm -hmm. and it works a lot easier. Yeah, and it's that bottom, um, bottom part that they can't see on the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this part right here. You scroll to make it bigger. And it'll kind of show you. So, bigger. You can move it to the right to make it bigger, left to make it... Smaller. Thinner. Thinner, yes. So then you color your hair in, mm -hmm. or whatever you're coloring, you can finish coloring. And then you can do multiple layers to do multiple colors. So say I wanted to do a neat little background, right? I just pull this, I just drag it over there, Use the la any layer under it, and then it'll just show up under it. So, say I wanted a bright blue, I can just use my brush to make it bigger, and then kind of like airbrush the background in. See? Mm. And then I can use lighter colors in it just to make it look prettier and cooler. See? And then you made your, you've made your picture. So, that's just the easy parts that I am going to go over. There are just... Those are the main tools that you that's use. That's the main tools that I use. Oh. I mean, like, there are a few tools, like Pixel, if you want to do, like, pixely, like, Minecrafty kind of things. Mm -hmm. If you want to do little Minecraft kind of pictures, okay. then that's the Pixel thing. And then I'll just go over the, all the tools, but I'm just showing just the main ones that I really use. Quickly, yeah, 16, this is just something... I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. This is a select tool. Never really figured that out. This is kind of for sketching, but I never really used it because it never really worked out. Smudging just makes all the colors wonky sometimes, unless you want it to smudge. But see, smudging, not not <laughs> so, not something you would use. Oh, but text. I use this sometimes. Uh, oh, say, text, yeah. yeah, you can make the size and everything. Don't worry about this. Just type your text there. Say, cat's. And then it'll just come out like that. But I normally don't use that. I change the, I change your setting to your shape to line, and then you can kind of just drag it across the screen, and it'll show cats. You can change the color of your font using the color wheel, and it'll just say your text, which is real nifty, real cute. This I don't really use. It kind of helps making a circle. Go back to freehand, and then yeah. It's kind of just that, but I never really used it. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much everything you'd need to know about doing this. And then once you exit, you can save, and then you can just go back to your desktop by using this back to gallery. And then it'll be saved into your pictures. And then also if you press upload, you can kind of download it into your actual photos because this is just the gallery that you have saved in the app. But if you upload it, and then hold on it till you save it like you would in a picture on Google or anything, then you can just download it to your actual photos. Okay. All right, well, we're running out of time here. It's already 18 minutes over. So thank you, Genevieve, for explaining that to us. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look that easy, but... It does take some getting used to. Yes. Like, I kind of had to figure it out for myself okay. as I went. Uh -huh. So, it does become a lot more easy once you so, got the hand. Anyway, check out, um, she has some process videos where she draws um, uh, certain characters or pictures. people. Yeah, or people that she knows draw on YouTube. So, check out Super, S O U P E R, uh, underscore cute, Q capital Q C U T E. I, I can just that write it. That is her YouTube name, so please give her some support. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. So we're going to go say goodbye now because it's time for bed. That is her channel, so check her out. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.